Well, you know what is happening around here. Brandon Lawrence told us again this morning the white stuff could be coming in some areas yep. as soon as Friday, believe it or not. But that means the snow plows have to be up and ready here in the city of Des Moines. And the snow plows, in fact, are raring to go. They are ready to go. There we are behind the wheel of one of the standard, one of the, uh, the, the one you see everywhere, the snow plows that you see everywhere in the city of Des Moines. They invited us to come on over yesterday and check out the snow plows and okay. give them a test run to see what they were like. We had a chance to sit down and talk to uh, Mike Hausman Jr. Yeah, that Mike Hausman Jr., the sprint car driver. Uh, he is uh, over in charge of just getting, make sure the plow drivers are all ready to go and all the things are ready to go. And all week long, snow plow drivers have a chance to go over to their facility and practice. Get used to driving these big Three step ready to go. machines again. Just get, you know, get their legs under them one more time to make sure everything is primed and ready because next week they're going to be involved in a competition. Here's Mike to explain what's going on. Every year we have what we call our little uh, on-site snow rodeo, and it's just a little semi-competition, semi-training, uh, semi just something to have fun, get everyone familiar back with the units, familiar with the plows. Uh, this year we're, we have a lot of new cab overs that have uh, plows in different locations than uh, in previous years. So just to kind of get everyone out there, get them practiced up, get them familiar with the, with the new plows, because with new plows comes different challenges, and that's what we're kind of going through now, and just getting everyone fami familiar with those challenges before they get out on the street. Now, apparently this, uh, you know, practicing and having this snow rodeo that he called it next week is paying some dividends because they went into a statewide competition recently and they didn't do too bad. Here's Mo again. With our in-house training, there is a statewide competition and the City of Des Moines usually sends roughly eight drivers up there a year, two person teams. And we took first place this year with drivers Justin Maskey and Dennis Miller. Uh, it's the first time Des Moines won in, a, in quite a while. I'm thinking over 12 years as, as a first place uh, first place prize. So we're pretty pumped about those for those guys and we're going to send them to uh, to Loveland, Colorado for the national one next year, see what they can do. Yeah, Maskey, that sounds good. familiar, that name? Yeah, race car driver? Yeah, he's, he's a snowplow driver too. So it all comes around. But we we also uh, talked to Mike about you know what people really need to keep in mind when the snow falls and they're going to have about 100 vehicles that are going to be at their disposal yeah. when the snow falls. They do such a good job with all the different units they have on the streets right now from those big gigantic ones and even ones like little uh, little tiny pickup trucks that have blades on right. them and little scoopers uh, to do that. But if you can get a message out to the people out in public now, what would you tell them? Here's what he had to say. I think everyone just needs to realize that how big they are. I mean, these are they're big pieces of equipment. They're unwielding pieces of equipment. Uh, your car or your small truck isn't going to stand up to much with these, with the weight these have and the material they're made out of. So I think everyone just needs to understand, you know, they got to give us a nice wide berth. Yeah, we can slow down traffic and we might be annoying at times, but we're doing it for the best of everyone to try to get everyone home and to work safe and to then get back to their families. And, and same with us. We want to get back home without having any, any property damage or, you know, anyone hurt or including ourselves. All right, so we had a chance to get behind the wheel of both those machines, Jackie, and, and take them around the course they have. So uh, Mike was uh, running, running shotgun with me yesterday. Okay. Here's what it looked like when we got behind the wheel. Here we go. We're uh, just tooling this run that's uh, yours truly behind the wheel here. And you had to go zigzagging in between these barrels, which I had never seen done before. And surprisingly, oh, really we managed to get all the way through them without knocking any of those wow. over. Now, we did the cab over one after this one, and we clean that last one, that last barrel out, we drug it halfway around <laughs> this course. But they have these little blocks that are set up. Uh, if you could keep that roll in here, they have little blocks set up. And as we pass by, uh, they're just like four by fours. And you try to knock them over. They're painted white, and that signifies snow. You can either knock them over or run them over. But you knock them over, and that means your blade is doing its job. But you don't want to clip the, the, uh, the mailboxes or the cars or anything like that. And that's all set up there. But we were able to tool around there. They are a lot bigger than you would imagine. Oh, they're massive. They're gigantic. And uh, those ones with the cab over, he explained that one there. That's the cab over they're calling that one. I think they said 17 of those new machines are hitting the streets again this year. Okay. But the blade that sticks out on the side, when you turn, it kind of collapses. So you keep the turning radius tight too, which is kind of neat. And then that front blade, he said, can come off. He said that is really neat because there's a blade that will go underneath the chassis of the truck and then continue out with the wing on the blade. And you can really 
really maneuver that thing in and out of some really tight areas. So they are primed and they are ready to go. So the rodeo is next week. Uh, the drivers will be testing their skills next week. We might go pop back out there Tuesday or so and see how they're doing as they're ready. But said they're, they're going to be ready to they're go. They're ready no matter what soon happens. As the snow falls, they're ready to go and they will go out in force and they'll go out 24 hours a day if they need so yep, to keep everybody do. in Des Moines safe and keep the roads clear. And they're doing an awesome job. Thank you so much. Lou's for everything ready for did. backup. And if you need a backup, I'm there. I'm available. Just don't count on me not nailing any mailboxes. <laughs> I, I took a mailbox and a, kind of, a big plastic dub, uh, tub out to it yesterday as well.